our story so far. Leighton and Luke narrowly escape the crush of a fer of runaway Ferris wheel while searching the park. The Ferris wheel destroys an old shack on the shore, revealing a secret subterranean path. After finding a tower-shaped key in the underground room, Leighton and Luke make their way back to town. With the key in hand, Leighton debates heading to the tower. However, after sensing a sinister presence near them, the professor devises a plan to out the fiend. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we need to go back to the, the manor. We need to head back to, uh, to talk with, with Chelmy. I'm finally, now that we're at the end, I'm finally getting used to saying his name the right way. Chelmy, we need to get back to meet with Chelmy. So let's continue. Uh, we head this way. And then we can head to the right. Uh-oh. You found the key to the tower, haven't you? How do you know about the key? You mustn't interfere with the tower. Whatever you do, just stay away from there. Interfere? What do you mean by that, dear? Mm. All right, let's continue. Let's continue on to the manor. If she don't want to talk, I don't want to listen. Oh, this man. He's going to give us a puzzle, isn't he? I with it is the professor, Layton. Judging by your expression, it seems you haven't found the golden apple. You look terribly tense, professor. Perhaps this small puzzle like you loosened you up. Puzzle 93. Over the river. It's worth 30 pick rats. It's a nice warm up. It's a nice little warm up for us to get back into <sighs> solving puzzles. Here we go. Help Statch and Scarfin move the wolf. Is this? Oh no, this isn't the same one from before. This is the traditional version of this puzzle. Help Statch and Scarfin move the wolf, sheep, and cabbage from one side of the river to the other while obeying the following rules. In addition to its captain, the raft can only support one animal or item at once. When Statch and Scarfin is in near, the wolf will eat the sheep, and you'll have to start over. The sheep will eat the cabbage when Staff, uh, Statch and Scarfin isn't around. If you let the sheep have its way, you'll have to start over. This is the traditional version of the puzzle that we did back back at like the first stream, which had, uh, I think it was three wolves and three sheep. This is this is the normal version. This is exactly what I thought they were talking about. Uh, basically, we move the we move whatever we want to put on the raft on the raft and move it across. Okay, so we can't leave. Let's see. If we start with the recycle puzzles, that means we're close to the end of the game. Yeah, I figured. I figured. I I didn't look up anything, but how many chapters there were, and I think this is the last chapter that we're in. Either this one or the next chapter is the last one. Uh, so let's see. We can't leave the wolf alone with the sheep. We can't leave the sheep alone with the cabbage. The problem currently is the sheep. So let's move that one first and then go across. How do I? There we go. Drop the sheep there. Uh, let's see. The shortest solution takes seven moves. I believe that's right. We want to come back, grab. We want to come back, grab the wolf or the cabbage. It doesn't matter which one. Take it across. After we take whichever one across, we grab the sheep, bring that back across, bring the other of these two that we didn't um, we didn't take the first time, bring that across, then come back and get the sheep. I think that's seven. So let's see. Let's move. We'll grab the cabbage, head over, grab the sheep, head back, mm -mm -mm -mm. grab the wolf, head back. Head back for the sheep. And we got it. I think I've got it. I'm familiar with that puzzle. I can't even pretend like I didn't know the answer on that one. The day. Well done. The source solution uh, for this problem requires seven moves. How did you fare? I don't know how to do that with more than seven moves, to be honest. I guess just take your time instead of taking something and then taking something else back in one whole trip waste time but past that I don't know 
That was masterful, but I expected nothing less from the great Professor Layton. <laughs> we got a penny scrap. I wonder if we're going to get all the scraps by the time we end this. That's one thing that I did want to do. I want to get all the penny scraps and solve that. I wanted to get all the pieces for the invention and put that together. To the manor. Welcome back, Professor Layton. Please come in. Everyone is waiting. Thank Oh. <laughs> Rod Grace. Thank you, Matthew. Is something troubling you, my good man? You seem ill at ease. Oh, no. I'm fine, sir. Please make your way to the parlor. All right. If you're certain that nothing is the matter, we'll head upstairs. Up the stairs we go. Ah, Mr. Layton, thank you for arriving so promptly. Come, have a seat. Why have you called us here, Inspector Chelmy? Like you, I'm not the kind of man who beats around the bush, so I'll just come out with it. I'm on to you, Layton. It's clear as day. You are responsible for Simon's death. Are you suggesting I murdered Simon? Nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> nice try, Layton. I have to admire the way you keep cool under pressure. If this man says, so you're innocent, here's a puzzle, prove it to me, I'm going to fight everybody. I'm fighting everybody. But of course, I would expect nothing less from a cold-blooded killer such as yourself. I don't suppose you've seen this before, eh? It's a vase? Is this vase of importance? Where's my clock? There we go. This vase was on display in the room in which Simon was found dead. Of all the forensic evidence I've gathered suggests that the killer struck Simon with this vase. Our killer was no professional. You see, he left his fingerprints all over the murder weapon. Fingerprints that match your own, Mr. Layton. When did we touch this vase? Oh, I remember. We found it. We found it. <laughs> I remember. Oh, that's the vase from the market, isn't it? You rotten murderer! If this vase is evidence, why did you just break it like it was nothing? So go on and give me an alibi, Layton. Where were you when Simon was killed, eh? Come on, out with it! I was with Luke, investigating matters down in the village. Hmm, is that the best you can muster? It's clear that little brat is an accomplice to your crime. Admit it, Layton. You two wanted to keep the golden apple so badly that you conspired to murder Simon. See, Chelby also just left his figure marks. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You can't fool me, Layton, so cough it up and start talking. While I'm at it, I'll take the key to the tower you picked up too. It was Chelby? Did Shelby do it? Is that why he just broke the vase and now he's trying to get the key from us? Did Shelby do this nonsense? It seems you are intent on pinning this crime on me, Inspector. But if you are a true enforcer of the law, you'll acknowledge that I'm not the only reasonable suspect. Any member of this household could have committed this crime. In fact, you can't even rule out the possibility that everyone here had a hand in the murder. Furthermore, are we even sure to, that a murder took place here? What kind of nonsense are you spouting now? Do you really think anyone here is fooled by your crackpot theories? Inspector, tell me. I'm beginning to think the only person here with something to hide is you. That's absurd. This has nothing to do with me in the slightest. No, Inspector, it has quite a bit to do with you. Meaning? Isn't it obvious? If there is any criminal element involved in this case, then it is you, sir. What? That's absurd. Hey, calm down! <laughs> what utter rubbish! You'll need more than some death charge to save your hide. I've heard you're quite the devoted husband, Inspector. I bet you take very good care of your wife, Amy. 
Murder suspects solve. Inspector Chelmy identifies killer. Luke and I found this article in the paper. Luke, what was Inspector Chelmy's favorite food again? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have a pop quiz today. Uh, it was the potato fritters. <laughs> it was the potato fritters. None of these stand out to me, but it was the potato fritters. Uh, this article specifically states you love sweet potato fritters. And yet you raged at poor Matthew when he brought you sweets with tea. Why? And your point is, it just so happens that I have a fondness for Amy's sweet potato fritters. Is that so? Thank you, Inspector. This little conversation has made things quite clear. Please take a look at this. What's going on, little fire? Welcome to the stream. We're probably wrapping up Professor Layton in the Curious Village today. I believe you just called them Amy's Sweet Potato Fritters, yes? I'd like everyone to look at this article. As you can see, as you can all see, the article clearly states that Inspector Chelmy's wife is Amelie, not Amy. Do you mean to tell me you've forgotten your own wife's name? <laughs> Out with it then. Who? Oh, this isn't Chelby. This isn't Chelby. Oh, snap. <laughs> Out with it then. Who are you and why have you been impersonating Inspector Chelby? And why have you been running this investigation? <sighs> but your sudden memory loss regarding your wife's name isn't the only suspicious thing about you. Try, recall, try to recall the time around Simon's death. You said you received a report that prompted you to come to St. Mysterie, but you forgot one thing. After Luke and I came to town, the drawbridge that is St. Mysterie's sole entrance had its crank stolen. This effectively sealed the village. From that point on, no one could enter or leave the village. And do you recall just when this seclusion began? I can't believe, I can't believe that slipped my mind. That entire thing slipped my mind. When did the drawbridge shut down? During our search for Claudia? After Ramon went missing? Or this morning after we received the inspector's summons? Was it during our search for Claudia? Yeah, I think it was during our search for Claudia. Oh, no. Yeah, it was during our search for Claudia. Correct. The only route out of the village had been closed well before Simon's death was discovered. <clears throat> After that event, there was no way that anyone outside the village could enter. By the same token, there was no way to take things out of the village, particularly something as large as a corpse. So tell me, Inspector, tell me, when did you actually first set foot in St. Mysterie? And furthermore, what did you do with Simon's remains? Ugh. While we're on the subject, I have one more nagging question that I haven't been able to figure out. How is it you knew about the key to the tower we discovered? When we happened upon that key, there wasn't a soul in the area, save for Luke and myself. Yo, is this that man that's in the building where we found the key? Oh, I'm sorry. The building that took us to the underground? Something. Some, some, it's, it's one of the last few people that we've met. I think it was that guy. Furthermore, I have spoken of what we found there to no one. There's no conceivable way you could have known about this key. Unless, of course, you were spying on us from the shadows when we picked it up. Now let me see if I've got this all right. You posed as the inspector and used Simon's death as an excuse to enter Reinhold Manor. Since then, you've been waiting for the ideal time to strike and steal the golden apple from us. How am I doing so far? <laughs> Little Fire said, don't trust him. I trusted Chelby. I didn't know this person wasn't actually Chelby. <laughs> How am I doing so far? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> What's so funny? This is no laughing matter. I'm just... Let's see. Let me get my... My... Tell me voice back. 
What was it? I'm just, I'm just astounded at how despicable I found you, Leighton. But that's exactly why you're worthy of being my arch enemy. Don Paolo is his name. Don Paolo. I've always despised you, Leighton. That's my Don Paolo voice. Oh, I'm sure this looks weird for all of you. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to crush you once and for all here in St. Mysterio. But that will have to wait since you saw through my disguise. You haven't caught on yet, but St. Mysterio hides a secret of epic proportions. <laughs> When I imagine a dumb wit like you trying to unravel the mystery, I just have to smile. <laughs> My business here for the day has come to an end, so I'll be off now. But listen closely, Leighton. Never forget how close you came to being bested. One day I, the great Don Paolo, will rain my vengeance down upon you. And on that fearful day, you will beg for an umbrella and a raincoat. Perhaps even some galoshes. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Gosh. Bro went through the window. Hmm. I guess he's done gone. Do you know who that man was? Don Paolo is his name. I've heard stories of him. His grasp of the hard sciences was rumored to be unrivaled. The problem, as you might guess, was his personality. Though he was a genius, a man was evil. The science board banished him from working officially in his field ever again. Spe uh, sneaking into St. Mysterio to steal the Reinhold fortune sounds like the kind of scheme he would hatch. This moment is my favorite. This, this is the moment that make the game my favorite, second favorite of the series. <laughs> Tom Paolo's going down, definitely. He seems to hold quite a grudge against you, Professor. What did you do to cross him? I haven't the slightest idea, Luke. Hmm. Well, that aside, what was all the talk of a secret hidden in the village of... Uh, what was he talking about? I'm mystified by it myself. For the time being, though, let's focus on finding the golden apples, shall we? I say... We follow our newest lead and head for that tower. Let's check that dead end from before, Luke. Chapter 8 solved. Okay, so the next chapter, I believe, is the very last chapter. We're, we're possibly going to solve this today. Uh, someone's been obstructing the investigation. Find the troublemaker and continue work on the case. Uh, it was totally necessary to break through the window at the end. <laughs> 100%. So, oh, these are all the mysteries all together. Wait, so we didn't solve none of these. We didn't solve the, oh, obviously we haven't solved the golden apple. We don't know what that noise is, the crank. We don't have tiny cogs. We haven't solved Lady Dahlia. Maybe we need to talk to specific people more. Because, like, we haven't talked to Dahlia unless she wanted us to talk to her. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, head to the tower. Let's let's talk to Dahlia. I got a soft spot for Dahlia. I don't remember her voice. That was so long ago. I'm simply shocked, shocked at this turn of events. Who could have guessed that we had an imposter in our midst? He had me completely fooled. But you saw right through him, Professor. I must say, I'm quite impressed with your cunning. I ask you now to put that brilliant mind of yours to work again and set out in search of the golden apple. It would be my pleasure, madam. By the way, are you feeling all right? You look a bit pale. Mm. I awoke this morning with memories of a peculiar dream I must have had last night. In it, uh, my husband and I had just had a brand new baby girl and oh, how everyone fawned over her. The next moment, suddenly I was in a park, walking hand in hand with my young daughter. With your daughter, you say? Now, why would I have a silly dream like that? The past few days have really been quite draining. Hmm. Professor Layton, I, I don't feel particularly well at the moment. I think I will go lie down for a bit. 
What's wrong with Lady Dahlia? She says she had a dream of walking in the park with her young daughter. There's something quite curious about that dream. Alright, uh, Carlos says all mysteries will be solved in the tower. Dope. Not talking to anybody else. <laughs> not talking to anybody else. Uh, first talk to everyone. Uh, I, I feel like the man, the other man that was left in that, in the manor, we haven't really talked to him enough for it to like actually give us some closure on his, his story. So we're just going to roll out. Same thing with Ramon here. Same thing with Ramon. Can it be Flora? I think her daughter might be Flora. I think her daughter might be Flora. Let's head to the tower. Oh boy! Oh boy! It's Lucy and the cat rat. Let's let's do it. We we've done it every time so far. Adria is really nice, but she comes up with some tough puzzles. Oh, well that that's a letdown. How about cat rat? Run to the tower and don't look back. There sure don't seem to be a lot of animals around town. You're quite the animal lover, aren't you, Luke? Now come along. We don't have time. I've been ridiculing this game since the first stream. I've been ridiculing this game with how much they say, Oh my God, look at that brick in the wall. That reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I want puzzles Now that I want puzzles thrown at me Nobody's got any extra puzzles <laughs> Okay fine The game wants me to go straight to the tower We'll go straight to the tower I understand Is it this No we're not here yet Have we, have we gotten here yet Okay there we go It's a dead end no two ways about it. Maybe there's another pathway to the tower hidden around here. I'd argue we've come to exactly the right spot, Luke. What do you mean by that? Look right here, Luke. There's a small indentation in the wall where one could place a small object. Oh, so this must be... Yes, this curious indentation is no doubt the spot indicated in Baron Reinhold's note to Archibald. I'm willing to wager that if we put this in there and give it a turn. Doors open. Wow! Just as I suspected. All right, Luke, in we go. Chapter 9, The Tower's Secret. A path to a tower has been found. Scale the tower and solve all the mysteries of St. Mysteria. That's two. All right, looks like we are going to solve all of these at once. I'm here for it. Uh, there's four puzzles that we didn't get to. Dope. We all went to Granny Relatives. How would you guys feel about a, a, a separate stream once we finish this and we go back and just do puzzles? We we clown around with a lot of these puzzles that we didn't even look at or didn't finish. How would you guys feel about that? I feel like that's a thing we could do. It won't be on. It won't be a Sunday stream. It'll be one of the ones uh, throughout the week. Let's see. Carlos says the next biz will blow my mind. Here we go. Save progress. Of course. I'm a compulsive saver. I don't know if you guys know that. I'm a compulsive saver. I've been I've been holding back. For this playthrough, because I wanted to break the, break the feel. Explore the tower. Here we go. Oh, uh, how many hint coins do we have? <laughs> I feel that's something we should pay attention to. I suppose congratulations are in order. You've made it this far, after all. Of course, it looks like you've left quite a few of my puzzles in town untouched. Do we not have enough? What was that? Where's that voice coming from? I've hidden all sorts of wonderful puzzles across St. Mysteer. Go back to the village, Traveler, and test your mail against a few more of my puzzles. I'm not so unreasonable that I'd have you, I'd make you solve every single puzzle before passing through here. But you're sorely mistaken. Oh my god! 75 puzzles! We're only at 58! 
you're sorely mistaken if you think that I'll let you through with less than 75 puzzles to your name. Come back when you've got the goods. Who do you suppose that was? <laughs> I can't quite place it. Regardless, it seems that mystery will have to wait. If we don't solve 75 puzzles purse, we'll never make it inside the tower. Let's go back. Okay, so we're at 58. We're about to do how many puzzles? Is that 17 puzzles? <laughs> oh, we're at 59. I forgot we did one today. Okay, we got to go back and solve 16 puzzles. Y'all ready? Listen, listen. This is where I'm glad I'm glad you're here, Carlos, because you could have been, I know you would have been upset how you missed this. This is where we're all going to have to work together now, okay? <laughs> we're all going to have to work together. 16 puzzles. Can we solve 16 puzzles? Get in the tower. <laughs> I think you're going to need 625 more <laughs> This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.